Well, it's the next morning. I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm not gonna show you every single time I attempt to continue to float this, but this, this is after yesterday. It's all nice and dry now. Got my level on there. Look how flat I got it. See underneath there? I got that pretty flat, didn't I? But when I look at the level, It's, wow, it's just, it's pretty close, isn't it? Let's see, for that to be level, I'd have to raise up the right-hand side ever, ever so slightly. About like that. And that's, that's hardly anything. That's, that's basically level at that point. And... If I go from here to there, I'd have to raise this side up. See how far I could raise it? Right about like that. That gives me that gives me a, almost an eighth of an inch. Which means, what does that mean? That means if I wanted this water come down here and instead of hitting a flat spot and then and then going out see there I could raise this side up on the level less than a sixteenth and that'll still make it slope off to the right and even if it was a sixteenth higher here It'll still slope down this way to this point, won't it? So that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna raise this side up just a hair and try to taper it on down. So I'm not gonna build this up real high, but enough to where I can still get this to kind of slope out a little bit more. And see, I've got a, I've got a dip here I don't necessarily have to fill this all in because if water if water hit here if water was right here it doesn't necessarily have to jump over this to get to here to go this way because if the water's there this area slopes down to the right anyways let's see here at that point I would have to raise this side up about, you know, a sixteenth of an inch. See? From that point and water over there, see how that slopes there? Look at that. That's because this plate, this was a where the two by six wall is, I went ahead and chiseled that out with my one inch chisel uh, from that top on down this way. I made it down about three eighths and then I kind of tapered it up to about there. Let's see if I, if I put my level over here, it's gonna, slope down this way I see my bubble to make it level I'd have to raise this left in side up to there and I got a good 3 16 to a quarter and that's how I made that's how I made this whole thing this here I, I floated that down at an angle too see So the idea is where the water is here, it's gonna come across that way. See, see my bubble there? I'd have to raise this left-hand side way up over a quarter because I floated this up. And everything, got everything going downhill. This, this is going downhill, see? That's the floor. That's a... Uh, 3 16 to a quarter in two feet 
and that's just nat following the natural flow out of here from where they built this before okay so they've got the right slope on it it's just I've got to work in this area a little bit more and that's what I aim to do today get in here early this morning it's uh, nine nine o'clock it's nice and sunny out here on the deck and it'll give me some time to put a little bit on here and then after it dries I can check it and it'll give me a little bit of time to do a little bit more if I need to so that's what I'm gonna uh, that's what I'm gonna continue to work on and just so you know I'm doing another water test yes see the water here I put this on there after I did the test the other day and I thought you know what I'm gonna leave that on there I, I I'm gonna be out here for several more days I've got other things to do other than floating that out and I'm just gonna let that sit on that bucket and I'm gonna see if I can let it go a week and see if any of that water penetrates in there one one day was a good test a week it's worth of a test with this water to see if any goes down through here that's going to be the ultimate test to see if that Tyvek paper will hold that water for a week even though there's microscopic little holes in this to make it breathable it's got to be you know they they claim it's a water barrier and it's breathable they don't recommend putting this on the floor they only recommend as far as I know they recommend putting it on the walls only when you're installing brand new framing and stuff I don't think you put that on roofs I've seen something like that that they put on roofs but man if you put that on a roof you'd have to be so careful when you're walking up there because it's gonna slip all over the place okay so I am going to be working on this some more today now while I wait for that to dry, is that the rest of my day? Heavens forbid. Of course not. You see this material? Do you remember when I removed all of the concrete pavers? There was this stuff underneath it. And this is a half an inch thick and it goes all the way underneath all the tiles. And I guess that is used to cushion this from hitting the floor all the way. Plus after they put all this stuff down they ran sand in between all of the joints even though some of the joints look really tight they put sand in there now see some of the joints aren't as tight see this one here and they had sand in there and then, when the, and then the sand goes all the way down and it hits it hits this it doesn't go all the way down to the floor supposedly and that way it allows the water to still escape underneath here flows through here and then goes on down when I took that up some of it I damaged and I'm gonna try to save that stuff I have no idea where to buy that stuff and I'm gonna try to save it so I'm gonna show you what I have to do to save that because see some of that was glued down remember there was a couple places where there was mastic and it was tight to the floor the rest of it rolled up and came off pretty easily but I saved it and now I've got to fix it so I can put it back down Ooh, it's the man cave and one of these days I think I'm gonna sheetrock this put some light fixtures in here put a light switch in here and some electrical and put some more insulation in the walls that's missing over here and paint this out and I don't know maybe just have a little place in here I or I'll just leave leave it for storage who knows but see here's that here's that stuff and I 
and I put it down in here and see there's pieces there's pieces that are missing here and see how this piece is just loose and I can fit it back down in there exactly and what I'm gonna end up doing is I saved as many of the big pieces of this that I could. I'm gonna put it back together. Kind of like a puzzle, sort of. I'll cut some pieces here and there where I need to. And then I'm gonna fit them in there because I'm not quite sure. I don't wanna just lay it down like this and then find out there's a joint that uh, is gonna be all cattywampus because it hits funky without some of these areas being filled in. And so I've got my caulking here. I've not decided which which caulking to use. This this tube is almost gone and I don't think I'm gonna use it much anymore. And if you save just a little bit of caulking, eventually it just dries out. So I'm gonna take a look at that. This one's almost full. And my, uh, see that, that one there is about from here that way, two thirds gone. But I'll use that, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sweep this I think, and then I'll just put the caulking down in there, and then uh, and then set the little like this little thing. I'll I'll put little bits of caulking in there, and then I'll set it I'll set it back down in there wherever I think it fits, or or I'll, I'll cut it. I, you know I could just leave that one just like that. It doesn't really have to fit. And then I'll put it down in there and hope that that, that that sticks to the cloth. And then I thought, well, you know, when I, when I go to roll it back out up there, chances are some of these are going to come out. How can I fix that? And so see, they have, they've got plastic underneath here. And lots of this is, is loose plastic. See how that piece is just all flopped up? And... And how how this piece is broken right there I can just once I glue it down then I can take my shipping tape I had some shipping tape and I said hey I'll just take some shipping tape and I'll use this I'll use this tape first I'll pull this one off and use that one first so that I don't have two small ones when I get done I'll just have a, a smaller just one and I'll tape it I'll tape over the top over this side here I could just hold it in there and put the tape on there you know but I thought no nah, I'll, I'll put a little bit of glue it's not, it shouldn't take me that long I'll be down here a few hours and um, whatever glue sticks it'll stick whatever doesn't hopefully the tape will hold it together because when I pull this out I've got a I've got to flop it uh, upside down this is this is the bottom this goes down first and I don't want it to all fall apart when I flop it down but this is the old piece see how it's notched right there there's another notched piece there I think this came it's probably four foot wide and see here's here's my other piece this piece here is pretty much all together this was the one that I cut you know right that last piece that I showed you I had it flopped up and then um, I ended up cutting it to pull this all up. And so I've got two pieces to mess with. This is the most damaged one. And once I get this one back together, I'll kind of pull that off to the side. And then I'll check this one. And hopefully I got enough of these little pieces. I don't have to, I don't have to, to get the whole thing in there. I can just put uh, a few pieces in the middle of that. I don't have to fill the whole thing up. Those tiles are two foot square. I mean, I could probably throw these pieces down there and probably the the tiles will span this. Even if the joint is right here, it's probably okay because the rest of the tile will, will be spanning it okay and stuff. But, you know, I'm just going to mess with it a little bit and, and try to make it a lot better than it is just because I can okay so that's what I'm gonna be doing while that floor is drying and then I'll go back up there in a few hours put a little bit more roof coating on there 
and uh, just building up that one edge and I'll have to let that dry for the rest of the day when that's all done I'll do another water test on it. I'll show you the water test when I get ready for that but I mean eventually this has to be done and so I might as well do it today alrighty then <laughs>